Hi, I'm Dan from Dancer Farms, and today I'm going to uh, do another video on our 12 volt uh, milker pump. Uh, this milker pump will work on 120, 220 uh, volt AC. It'll also work on 12 volts DC. There's quite a few different options you can buy. Uh, you can get the uh, little 12 volt sealed lead acid battery, and it will run. If you have your own battery, if you want to bring your ATV up to your animal or carry your own battery over, um, we have a uh, fused switched power cord which will run off of a uh, 12 volt power outlet and also you can clip directly to your own battery. Uh, the power supplies work on uh, 12 volts DC output to the, to the pump. Uh, this will work on 120 or 220, 50, 60 hertz. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it off of our own battery. I didn't pull an extension cord into our uh, into our barn. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to clean her udder. It's really important that you clean her udder. Very important you clean your hands. Wash and sanitize your hands. The cracks and little crevices in your fingers will hold bacteria. When you begin to milk the animal, that bacteria can get transferred into her teeth and cause mastitis, which could be very harmful to the animal. A lot of people use nitrile gloves. That's a great idea, but cleanliness is next to godliness. So first thing we're going to do is, and she doesn't have a whole lot of milk left in her because I just did another video on the battery powered battery pack and we kind of used her all up. Uh, but we're going to demonstrate this here. First thing we do is we want to clean her off and I always let the animal know I'm going to touch her and she won't get jumpy. Uh, this, this is actually her first time being milked and she's just a really wonderful goat. Uh, she's going to be a great milker for us. Um, anyway, here we go. Clean off the udders. Very, very important. You can use a soapy solution. You can put a little bit of uh, vinegar in the water if you'd like. You can see it's a little bit uncomfortable for her. Very important to break the mucous membrane that develops on the sphincter. sphincter which uh, without doing that, the milk would just flow out. So we break the seal, take a little bit of milk on both sides, and now we're ready to milk. <clears throat> okay. Alrighty. Uh, if you, when you first stop milking your animal, you might want to try just milking her. Chance, can you grab me the rubber? Oh, here it is. I got it. Um, when you first stop milking your animal, uh, put a plug on one side until you get used to milking. Um, it, it, and also, it's good for the animal to get used to uh, the feel of being milked. Um, she's already used to it. Um, I have a helper so it makes it a little easier putting the second teacup on, but as you get used to manipulating the cups with your fingers, you'll get really good at it and you'll be able to do it all alone on your, on your own. So, Chance, if you could put one on for me. And you can hear the pump begin to load up as the vacuum begins to increase in the bottle. And as you can see, the milk beginning to flow. She doesn't have a whole lot of milk in her. Uh, you can massage the udder as she's milking, and it'll help to get more milk down. You can literally shut off the pump while she's milking and, you know, turn it on 
as needed. As you see the milk flow begin to slow down, you can turn the pump back on. And that's all there is to it. Uh, next is to post treat her and to relieve the vacuum you take your index finger and gently between the teat and the teat cup just release the vacuum and it'll fall the teat cups will fall right off of her um, disconnect your pump now remember I'm using the 12 volt battery but if you had your own battery you could use the uh, optional uh, battery cable or if you have power in your barn you can plug this pump directly into your 120 volt or 220 volt 50 60 hertz so you can milk any animal anytime anywhere in the world to clean this real simple take your band off and your lid now I've got some blank lids inside and I just screw that on I'll put it in my refrigerator I usually strain my milk. If you want, you can bring it to a boil. Uh, I use some um, cloth to strain the milk if there's any particles. The beauty part about this milker is your, your milk stays clean. You don't get contaminants in it. To clean, very simple. You can take this and put it into a, uh, a bath of hot water, not boiling, uh, with a little bit of vinegar. And uh, you can take a, a 22 rifle bore cleaning rod to clean inside the lines because you'll see after um, a few milkings the line will start to get a white film on the inside and you know you could use that rod to clean it in and out. Uh, don't let any black mold develop. Uh, little black, You'll see black spots of mold. That's from lack of cleaning. Uh, put it in a strong vinegar bath to get rid of it. I try not to use bleach because bleach hardens the plastics. Bleach is very, very hard to rinse out also, and I don't want bleach in my milk. <laughs> anyway, that's easy to do. And uh, the milker, um, all of our milkers have uh, the, you have uh, different options of buying uh, a one quart, one teat, one quart, two teat, half gallon, one teat, half gallon, two teat. And we also have a one gallon, if you're milking a lot of animals, we have a one gallon milker bottle, and that comes with a blank lid. You'll receive uh, paperwork from us uh, with milking instructions, troubleshooting, uh, hints. Uh, you'll have our contact information. Uh, our service number is 850-464-2881. Or if you wanted to email us, it would be info at danshafarms.com. Please feel free to call us or email us with any questions. And that includes after you buy the, the milker, please feel free to call us. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, we'll help you with milking with various animals. We have quite a few years, I don't mean that many years, but we have a few years of milking uh, experience and uh, we know some tricks of the trade. Remember always milk your animal at the same time, at the same place. Don't let uh, dogs, a lot of noise, let things be calm, let the animal be calm and uh, she'll give you a lot of milk. Remember first three months of milking uh, you don't want to really milk the animal, that's for the kid, especially the first two weeks when she's developing colostrum milk. Make sure the kid gets the colostrum milk or it will not develop, it could possibly even die. Um, Post-treatment, just as important as pre-treatment. You don't have to use Fight Back, we sell Fight Back, but uh, you can use uh, vinegar. Uh, you can, a lot of people use the uh, spray to uh, spray the dust off of their computer. Um, it has a cold effect. What you want to do is, is give the teat a cold shot so the sphincter closes up and will not allow any bacteria to go in. It also disinfects. That's why we like the, the fight back or any kind of a post treatment. Uh, once she's done, make sure she's got something to eat while you're milking her and she's comfortable. This is the first time we've milked this particular goat and I'm really impressed on how calm she is. She's going to be a great milker for us. But in any case, we're here to keep you milking. We service what we sell and uh, 
that's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching my vi video, and happy milking from Dancia Farms.